Yeah, hello everyone, Biomariner here, and I'm off to show my January haul. Woo! -hoo! So, one thing first, most of my figures are already unboxed because I got them throughout the months at very different times, and I am an impatient girl, so I had to unbox my figures. But hey, no problem, right? The first one I got this month, who was actually supposed to come out at the very end of December, ended up coming out in the very, very beginning of January was the beautiful Seven Deadly Sin Gluttony or also known as Beelzebub and she is absolutely gorgeous. I will be doing a re review on her because there's so many stunning parts to her and here's a close-up of her. Oh, isn't she just gorgeous? I love this metallic chain. I mean I'll go more into it when I do the review but just a quick turnaround. She is amazing! Cute little butt! <laughs> and I am so happy to start off this year with such a beautiful sin. Next, I got a much smaller but very anticipated figure for this year. The Natsume Yujincho and Natsume figure and Yanko Sensei renewal version. And oh, he just looks amazing. I started watching the show, I'm actually glad I got the renewal versus the original because his face and hair looks more like how it does in the anime in my opinion. And he is a bit small for a 1 8 scale, but he is a gorgeous figure. Quick turn around, the, the setting of him over a pool of water with the grass, the, sitting on the, the tree with his little cloak, and oh, gotta love Yanko Sensei. He is a lovely, lovely addition to any collection, and he came at a very good price. Next, I want to go to some awesome surprise birthday gifts I got this month from my good friend Ardenor, or Leo. And uh, I always, always in his debt because I did not expect anything for my birthday. And a day after my birthday, I got this box. I was like, I didn't order anything. And voila, I got a gift. So he got me a beautiful plate of Sailor Mars that's already sold out. And I love Sailor Mars. Ray is one of my favorite Sailor Moon characters since I was a child. And I love her crystal design. I love the image in back. I plan to cut, once I finally remove this from its box, I plan to cut out that image. It's just so beautiful. On that same note, he also got me two Sailor Moon uh, glasswares. One is a Sailor Moon crystal tumbler. It is a clear red glass. With, it's hard to see, but there is an image of Sailor Mars in her crystal design in back. Again, has that beautiful illustration in back. I will cut out that card and probably post it somewhere. I would love to use this for special drinks, but I don't want to wash it too much. I'm so scared of ruining the design. It's just so beautiful. And they sold out really fast online. And here is Rey, or Sailor Mars, in her original design from the original anime. And again, it's just a lovely cup. I'm actually using it to store as your like little pen and collectible accessories. Here we can see the Sailor Senshi and beautiful Ray herself. And as always, Ardenor went above and beyond and got me this beautiful scale of Sengoku Nadeko from Bake Monogatari. And she's another Monogatari girl. I've been trying to collect them all. I've been wanting Nadeko for such a long time. I was very close to getting this figure this month as well, but before I know it, he got her f for me and oh, she is just such a cutie. Lovely, lovely figure. She is by Alter, and I don't know why, she kind of binned in price, but she is just beautiful and flawless. Now going on with the Monogatari trend, I was very happy to pick up on Ami Ami Pre-Owned these two Kuncharas of my favorite fire sisters from the Bake Monogatari series and my wife Ihi Araragi and Karen Araragi and they are really lovely quality. Let me grab Koyomi. As you can see, despite them being just Kuncharas, they are pretty much the size of a Nendo and they look great next to their big brother. I'm 
I'm so happy to have the Araragi siblings. But good smile, I am still waiting for Sukihi and Kara and Nendo, but these will do for now as they are super cute and super lovely. Continuing on with the Monogatari Madness, I had to get myself the Hachikuji Mayoi Nendo. She came in BB condition from Ami Ami. I have yet to unbox her because I need to make room in my always overflowing Monogatari shelf. But I really want to hear. She is such a cute Nendroid. Even though I told myself I wouldn't be getting too many Nendroids, I'm still debating if I will get all the Monogatari Nendroids. But oh my goodness, and Mayoya's spiked in price. She can go for over a hundred dollars sometimes. I was lucky to get mine for about sixty dollars. And yeah, even though she's BB, she looks like she's in perfect condition. The box looks great. Oh, she is so cute and I love to have that mischievous looking Mayoi next in my collection. Now I was able to get another Monogatari girl that I had been lacking in my collection and that is the beautiful and spunky Suruga Kambaru. And it's just been so hard though, I'm not a really big fan of the two scales of her out yet, so I just grabbed a prize figure, and this prize figure from Sega, showing her look in Hana Monogatari, with her long hair, which I love, is really great. It's just a shame that she's not to scale, and she's a quite a bit smaller than my scaled figures, but she really is beautiful, the detail is great. As you can see, her eyes are really shining. Her arm looks great. There really isn't any paint defect at all. I mean, she was a great... I spent only maybe $10 on her. And yeah, I just... I only wish she was bigger. But for now, she will be the Kambaru to complete my Monogatari High School Girls. Which leads me on to another grail I got this month. Last, but most definitely not least, I was able to pick up the beautiful one and only Tsubasa Hanekawa, the cat from the Bakemonogatari series. This is her Good Smile Company version, and she is absolutely gorgeous. I am so happy. The only Monogatari girl I am missing now is actually Shinobu, and I am waiting for Ultra's release of her. But again, oh, I am so happy to have Hanekawa. She came, I believe I got her for AB condition for a pretty good price. Uh, she was pricey, of course, as most Monogatari figures are nowadays. She was totally worth it. So cute with those Nico Mimi. So yeah, here's a shot of all the figures I got for this month, minus the uh, Sailor Mars uh, tableware that I got. But yeah, I am super happy looking at, at it now. It was actually a very good January haul. And I'm super looking forward to my February haul, which is very Valentine's theme. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how your hauls were for this month. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye!